Hello and welcome to my video comparison of Word Hero versus Write Cream. What I'm going to be doing is giving you some features, kind of giving you a demo, comparing how some of these work, and of course, giving you my thoughts and feelings about which one you might want to go with based upon your wants and needs. At the time of creating this, both of these softwares, ironically enough, have a very special deal. I will put links in the description below in case you want to check that out. I don't want to talk about it too much because when those deals end, it's going to add a lot of confusion, you know, for people moving forward and watching that. Either way, let's get started first. First, I want to talk about Word Hero when it comes to their longer form editor. Uh, it's going to be pretty simple to use. In fact, I really like this one. What you need to do is just simply put in a title and there's three buttons you're going to want to focus on. Once you have that, you're going to create your blog outline. So let's do that. Give it a sec. And just so you know, it says, what is ClickFunnels and how can it help with marketing? I just use a random product here, not mine, of course. And from there, all you need to do is when you have a sub headline, you can simply highlight it and click on this button for blog paragraphs. Okay, so after it was done loading, this is what it came up with. Not bad. It's a software program that allows you to create marketing funnels. It's a series of steps, so on and so forth. It makes it easy to create marketing funnels by providing templates and tools to help you create landing pages, email campaigns, and other marketing materials. You can use ClickFunnels to create simple funnel, a simple funnel, excuse me, with just a few clicks, or you can use its more advanced features to create complex funnels with multiple steps. So all in all, that's pretty much what you do. I find it very easy to kind of walk through, uh, change around the sub headlines if you want. And then of course you click blog paragraphs. There is the section if you want to write more, so you could obviously continue on from something else you wrote. Overall, not too difficult when it comes to Word Hero. I like it. There's a little flexibility to it. Obviously you can change these around to get more accurate uh, content that gets produced. Now let's take a look at the long form editor when it comes to write cream there's going to be a few more steps with this i'm not going to go through all of them but what you pretty much need to do is go down the line from the blog idea to the intro to the outline to the heading and the conclusion so for this i have click funnels once again i just did something related so i have a product brand name and a product description let's click on write for me and this should be very quick as you see as you saw right there this is something about write cream that i guess you could say has an advantage the time of waiting is a lot of times instantaneous. When it comes to Word Hero, I had to like cut a lot of the uh, space in between when it was creating the content. That's something to keep in mind if you really want that faster creation. But overall, what you would need to do here is it talks about some of the actual ideas that you can use. And when you have one, what you can do is highlight that. You usually want to open it up in like another drive or a Google Doc, but I'm just going to copy this. And what we can do is go to blog intro. And now that we have our topic, we can run through this way and let's click on write for me and let's see what we get when it comes to the introductions. So here are going to be a few introductions. These are a little shorter. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter. Obviously, it really depends. You can always create more. Uh, it talks about one of the most popular marketing tools on the market. It has over 3.2 million and so on and so forth. So if we like that, uh, give me a second. I'm just going to open up a Word document really quick. Okay, so I'm going to paste that in there and that's going to be the introduction. Now, if I go back over here, now what we need to do is create our outline. And so we have our stuff all set like there. Let's click on write for me and very quickly, it's going to bring up the outline down below, as you can see. Then, of course, we're going to have our outline. That one's a little redundant, as you can see there. But once we pick one, what we would do is we would highlight that. Oops, I can't see there. The bold is covering it. Okay, I need the W. So this... And what you can do is actually go through, and these are going to be your specific headlines. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll just go through one to show you. I have other videos that actually walk you through the steps. So what you would do is you go to blog heading expand and you would paste in your specific section headline. So you would actually go through after you get content for that, you can go for this one. You could change it up if you want, obviously. And you're pretty much going through the steps. Let me just click right for me and I'll show you what it looks like. And like I get, once again, I talked over it just to show you how quick it is when it comes to producing the content. I don't want to read through all these because I got a lot to talk about. So uh, for example, you know, you would paste this one. It would go in here and then you would repeat that process. So all in all, I would say I like Word Hero a little bit better. I think it's simpler. I think it's easier. However, before I get to that, uh, what's it called? Write Cream also has an AI article writer, which is going to be a very quick way of creating articles, as it says, four steps. So for the topic, once again, I'm going with something similar to kind of compare these softwares a little better. I'm going to click on Generate Ideas. And it's going to give me some ideas when it comes to ClickFunnels. So if you actually have a topic idea, usually what you want to do is paste it in there. Like if it's much longer, like how to use ClickFunnels for, you know, online business owners or how to generate leads using ClickFunnels and so on and so forth. But what you can do is once you scroll through here, you can pick one, the ultimate e-commerce platform, the review. Let's say we're doing a review. That looks good. Let's click on next step. We have our title. So let's generate the intros. 
and it's going to give us a few intros. Apparently, it didn't want to give us one right there. Okay, so there we go. Much better. It's a tool that can help start and grow your business, so on and so forth. Looks correct. Let's click on next step. Now, what we want to do is generate outlines. And if you're not familiar or not aware, what it's actually doing is going through the same process, but it's much quicker. Like before we had our intro, right? Or idea, we had intro outline and we're moving on to our sections now. So what is it? What does it do? How does it work? So on and so forth. Uh, the benefits, the features, the drawbacks. Let's say we want to use that one. And of course, what we can do, there's only going to be four sections. That's something about this I found it's a little limited. So you're not going to get the longest articles in the world, but it's going to be much quicker. So let's click on write the article. And just like that, we have our intro. What is it? Does ClickFunnels work for everyone? How does it work? And of course, some of the features. So that's a very quick way of creating articles if in case you didn't want to have to go through all those steps. Now let's talk a little bit more when it comes to a lot of the templates. I don't have the exact count off the top of my head, but each of them has a good amount when it comes to utilizing templates for your specific needs. So here's going to be a blog outline. Both are very easy. You're not going to have any problems when it comes to using these templates, but this is just an example. So why are sales funnel tools important for business owners? Let's click on right for me. Okay, so here's going to be our outlines. These are going to be like the headings. So why funnel software is important, defining a sales funnel, the stages of a typical sales funnel, why funnel software matters for business owners, the benefits of using funnel software, how to choose the right software. Overall, not bad. What you can do is you can always rate it to if you want. But if you just wanted more, just click on the right for me button. Something I want to bring up when it comes to uh, Word Hero is that they have unlimited content. And I think that's a really big push in their direction. Uh, once again, let's look at these, why they're important, how they can help business owners, the benefits of using them, and so on and so forth. Let's move over to uh, Write Cream. This is just an example. Something I talked about in the review that I think could be fixed up a little is that a lot of their outlines really include the products and brands. Uh, even when it comes to their long form editor, so let's go right here. You'll notice it talks about product and brand name and then blog topic. Or even if we start with blog idea, we have a product and product description. Like a lot of times I'm going to want to be writing more about than just products. And I feel like that with that right there, it kind of almost locks you in there. There are ways to get around it where you can put in the name and then just put something not related to the product description. But I think that could be cleaned up a little bit better in my opinion. But just kind of going back here. For example, if I put ClickFunnels and I don't put anything related to ClickFunnels in the title, I will get some sales funnel stuff related. So let's check that out. So why are sales funnel software tools important for business owners? What is a sales funnel and so on and so forth. But if you notice, I had the product up top. It doesn't say anything with ClickFunnels, but let's just say why is and let's do important, something like that. Let's generate again. And there we go. Now we have ClickFunnels in there. So. Uh, maybe I was a little bit harsh in my review, but I think it would be much easier if it didn't always have product and brand name there. Like it could be a little bit confusing. Like if you just took that out and you put any type of topic, very similar to how it does it here. Like if you just have topic, you can talk about sales funnel tools. You can talk about click funnels as a product. You can talk about anything that you want. And it's really going to be up to you. Might be a little nitpicky. And of course, with more experience, I got better at that. But that's just something I'm pointing out. All in all, let's kind of talk about the overall comparison when it comes to both of these. I know this was kind of a quick going through, but I do have more videos of those. I will leave the reviews deeper into the description in case you want to see those overall. So first and foremost, I really like Word Hero. I think it has a really big advantage. And this is comparing their special deals at the time. They actually come with unlimited content and compared to uh, when it's going to be right cream, you get a specific amount uh, every month. So I think it started off for me like a little bit over 200 credits. Uh, and then obviously, as it goes down, you use more. And then it refreshes each month. That's going to be when it comes to the lifetime. So Word Hero is going to be very big when it comes to that. I think it has the leg up. Also, both of these have pretty good quality. I wouldn't say they're the highest in the world, but they also definitely get the job done at the same time. I also feel Word Hero is a little bit easier to use. I like their editor. Pretty much create a title about anything you want highlight it. And then once you go from there, you can create your outline. And then you, obviously you can select each of those and create content going that way. On the other hand, you might want to go for right cream if you're looking more for something that's cheaper. 
Although it doesn't have unlimited content, it is going to be a little bit cheaper just to get started, but you can stack codes if you wanted more that way. So it really depends, but just the starting price overall of Write Cream is going to be a little bit cheaper. Also, if you want the ability to create faster articles and just have faster creation, Write Cream is probably going to be a little bit better for you there as well. As you saw before, when I was using their long form editor, I talked during the time when it was going to be writing for me. And a lot of time it was just instantaneous. Like it took less than a second and it still is only a few seconds, even if it has longer content to generate. And as you saw, when it comes to creating fast articles, uh, it's pretty much four steps in case you don't want to use the long form editor as well. So I would say Write Cream has the advantage when it comes to overall faster creation. So if that's something you're looking for, then maybe Write Cream is going to be best for you. Either way, I will have links in the description when it comes to Word Hero and when it comes to Write Cream. Be sure to check them out. Like I said, the deals aren't going to be around forever. So all those specific details will be in the links so you can check them out, investigate them and see what's going to be best for you in your online business. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this. I hope it helps you when it comes to picking the best software for you. Any questions down below and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.